so I guess I didn't watch as much as I could have on account of the, um, preparing for the Avenger movie stuff. I had already seen Iron Man, Iron Man 2, Captain America, and The Incredible Hulk. So I watched Thor, but I'm also hoping friends and family catch up on it because, uh, well, now we've got interest in watching it. And that ended up eating up pretty much my entire day Sunday. Yeah, my entire day Sunday. And, I don't know. Well, uh, let's see. First of all, uh, I watched Psychic Squad. It was actually a pretty enjoyable series. If you took um, Minority Report and you mixed it with Gunslinger Girl and went for a slightly more eccentric uh, execution, that would pro I would say that describes Psychic Squad pretty well. I mean, it's not precise, but you should get the right idea. And it was entertaining to watch. It's just sort of like seeing their thought processes making it. I don't know, real strange. Uh, let's see, I finished watching Cybuster. It was a disappointment to the very end. I mean, there were so many things about it, but it kept feeling arbitrary, like there wasn't an established reason for the characters to do or not do something and just some very blatantly stupid things happened. If I ever review an anime, this one would have many fun things to bitch about. I watched The Cult Academy and I thought that was pretty good. Um, it kind of degenerated from its initial feel of being simultaneously silly and creepy scary at the same time somehow. And I'm not talking about like alternating, I mean somehow it felt like it was both at the same time. And it kept me on my toes the whole time. Wait, that's a problem with it. But that's... No, I'm not going to talk about that, because that's not a huge problem. Uh, the truth of the matter is, uh, there you go. The Cult Academy was fun. I also watched those four mini OVAs that come with it, and uh, they, they were pretty entertaining and amusing as well. Uh, let's see, I finished Kakaishi, which was an okay ending. One of the, It's one of those incomplete ones where they could have made more. They could make more, I think, because uh, they didn't establish and complete all of their major goals that they've established, but they did complete a major hurdle. Maybe, I don't know if the characters really changed a whole lot in the end as well, but it was an entertaining series. Even though it took a really strange turn near the end there with a couple of the episodes. Oh. And the other thing I did was I uh, rewatched all of the Melancholy Party Pieces of Mia with a friend. Um, this would be both seasons, so is that 28 episodes, 27, or something? I'm not exactly sure. 5 plus 8 plus 1 is 14, so 14 in the second season. And probably around the same in the first. So I guess it was about that much. Um, and it was a very entertaining watch. Surprisingly enough, uh, even though I wasn't really doing much else, I was just ripping DVDs, and I was doing it one at a time, so I was just ripping one DVD every 15 minutes and occasional chatting with somebody. I found Endless 8 to be watchable sometime for this reason. Don't know if I'd just got the ability to turn my brain off if there's nothing insulting me or something. But I don't think I turned my brain off insofar as I was able to memorize a certain number of numbers for a certain period of time afterwards. Very fascinating. And I have a lot of respect for to say because of uh, what it is, that it exists, etc. But the other stuff was very entertaining, and I think the person I watched with is entertained and is probably about ready to watch the disappearance of Harvey Susan Mia movie. I'm hoping he's prepared for it. 
Uh, oh well, there we go. That's about everything. I don't know what I'm going to watch this coming week since uh, there's a bunch of random possibilities and since Gwen Saga is the only new arrival that I haven't already watched. New release that I obtained this week that I haven't already watched because I already watched the Cult Academy. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'll 